Welcome everybody. In this video, we're going to learn proper keyboarding techniques, teach you what you need to do to be the best typist you can possibly be. So we're going to take a look at these things. Pretty soon you'll be one of the best typists in your class, in your office. It'll help you. Stay tuned to find out how. Alright, let's take a look at some keyboarding techniques that we need to look at for proper keyboarding techniques is that we're going to have to have correct posture, our correct arm and hand positioning, and then finally correct keystroke techniques. Alright, so look at this. first of all our posture, we can take a look at this blonde haired guy here on the right hand side. Things that we notice about him, you know, he's sitting up straight, his spine is straight. Uh, leaning just slightly forward. He's centered in front of the keyboard. He's not off to the side one way or another. He's not slumped down. Notice the keyboard at the edge of the table. You know, he's sitting up straight and, and he's a comfortable distance from the keyboard. His chair is not pulled up all the way to the table there. Otherwise, that would stick his elbows out. We don't want that. So he's, he's a decent distance away from the keyboard to where it's comfortable, where his arms, and he does kind of have long arms there, so he's pushed back a little bit. So his arms are not out to the side. That way he'd have to turn his wrist. So we don't want to do that. And look at his feet. His feet are on the floor. They're just slightly apart. His feet are not kicked up on the wall. He's not sitting on his feet. Uh, things like that. So proper posture is the first thing we want to take a look at here. So remember that. Our next thing, arm and hand positioning. Uh, because he is a proper distance or away from the keyboard, this is actually a girl here. But because uh, a proper distance away from the keyboard here, you can see that her elbows are in by her side. Her arms are relaxed. Her elbows are naturally in close to the body. So the forearms are also nearly parallel with the slope of the keyboard. All right. So you don't want your, if you're pushed up too close to the desk or the, the workstation that you're at, then your elbows will be out wide. You don't want that. And then you'll end up possibly using some of the wrong fingers. Uh, whenever you're typing. I've seen that happen before with some of my students. So make sure you're at a, dis a decent distance away from the keyboard and then your arms and uh, hand positioning will be in uh, closely. Alright, our next thing, our wrists and fingers are going to be the tips of the fingers are resting slightly on the home row keys. Your wrists are low but the palms and the hands are not resting on the keyboard. Uh, your, your wrists and the hands are going to be almost motionless. All right, one thing I see, if my uh, I can tell from a distance, if my students are typing the wrong way, their hands are all over the keyboard. All right, a lot of students will end up wanting to use maybe just their um, their their index finger, pointer finger, and their middle finger a lot of times uh, for a lot of the keys, and, and it's easy to tell. All right, so you should your your hands should not be all over the keyboard. They should be, you know, just moving slightly to, to, to move up and down to get to the keys on whichever row they are, right? But you're always coming back to the home row keys, all right? Another thing for proper key, key stroking technique, the tips of your fingers. You don't need to pound on the keys. I've seen uh, students make a lot of noise pounding on them, like they have to hit it really hard for it to make it work. You don't have to do that. Just a gentle uh, down and in pecking motion. It should be enough to make that uh, key type what you want it to type, okay? So if you do all of these things, you should be able to learn how to type faster with repetition and practice, right? You're going to make fewer mistakes. You won't, uh, you'll be able to type longer without getting as tired. And also, you'll be less likely to have health problems with your hands and wrists. Uh, people develop carpal tunnel syndrome and things where they have problems with their wrists and stuff like that, right? So if you do these things, the posture, the proper techniques, you should be in good shape and it will help you be a more efficient, better typist, a better keyboarder. Working at the keyboarding, these proper keyboarding techniques will help you. So if you practice these proper techniques, you can be one of the best typists in your entire class, in your office, wherever you're working, or just for your own, uh, just for your own better, better typing ability. So good luck to you. I hope this helped you learn how to become a better typist. Practice these things. Practice makes practice you know you can't get to be a better typist without practicing but the more you practice the better it'll come to you and pretty soon you'll be flying through things and your lessons your work that you're doing and it'll make things so much easier for you good luck to you 
if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so also give me a thumbs up on this video and good luck to you and have a good day